Alright, so we're checking out the only game that manages to violate both time and space. It's Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Load game, damn it. Roller Coaster Tycoon 3 is one of those games that was made before developers had any understanding on what limits were. See this young child over here, Brenda, walking around with her whatever the hell that is. In Roller Coaster Tycoon 3, she is fairly routinely evaporated by roller coasters going across this area at 2 million miles an hour. And no, I'm not kidding. So I managed to get the roller coaster up to 2.8 million miles an hour. I have found that there is possibly no upper limitation toward this. The only limitation is how much I can flex the game before it sets my computer on fire. My guess as to what happens here is eventually you get to the point where the game can't mathematically understand the equations anymore. It's effectively me in high school algebra. The only difference is I couldn't tell my teacher to go to hell. The game will just crash on you. Today I kind of want to do something different. You're gonna notice that our ride length over here is 546,000 feet. Uh, I think that comes out to like a hundred and some odd miles in length. We had our 11 year long ride that was only 64 kilometers. I wanna see how long I can get this thing. And you know, if I make people go more millions of miles per hour, that's fine too. On the plus side though, they're only experiencing 484,000 lateral Gs. So this is the creature so far. Typically your, your freaking noodles over here are the best way to get additional speed just because it doesn't take up a lot of space. So typically what you do is you grab an area that may or may not have killed many people and you go ahead and you delete it, erasing the very existence that they were ever there off of the earth. Create a couple million of these right here. Eventually you'll run out of space, but it's fine because we'll just go over here and do it some more. I guess if you really want to, you could just go through the ground. The only problem is now I don't know what the hell way I'm going. And boom, there you go. Now the game can flip out for a few minutes as it tries to decide how exactly to connect this hideous thing. Oh, powers of epilepsy. Please allow this roller coaster to get completed. Once you're done, you save your game because you know in about two seconds you're gonna crash the whole damn thing. And now it's time to put our test subjects through black holes, multiples. And so, so just so that we can find slightly bigger numbers. Corkscrew Coaster 1 has crashed and with it, the hopes and dreams of probably two to 3,000 people. Not because it was two to 3,000 people on the, on the roller coaster, but because, you know, when it crashes going at 2.8 million miles an hour, I really don't know how long it would take to stop. Okay, so we've already beaten our last one. We're at 612. 1,771 feet. Of course, it only takes a minute to ride it <laughs> because of how fast everyone is going. It says my uh, my creatures are getting hungry over here. That's fine. We can probably put down some milkshake stalls or something like that. The milkshake stalls effectively use the gelatinous masses that are left behind from the people that ride the roller coaster <laughs> and turn into you know, a finely ground paste. I like how everyone is looking at this creature and they were so unenthusiastic for the first 30 seconds of that dance. Like they didn't know what to make of it. There you go, hot dogs made from all the leftover people. <laughs> Spooky shakes. They call it strawberry because it matches the color of human meat. Okay, straight up. That looks exactly like the drink I would serve. The entire table is just covered in the entrails of the testers of the roller coaster. Okay, with a couple more tracks input, we're starting to get ridiculous now. We're at 1 million feet long so far. We're closing in on 200 miles of fun and adventure while we also win the tidiest park award. The only reason that the park is so tidy is because I told you, when this machine goes past here, it atomizes all of the junk. Cutlass is one has just broken down. How the hell do you break a, a Cutlass place? Okay, so we just reached new levels of stupidity. We have gone 4.3 million miles per hour, but it doesn't stop there. The ride right now is 2.6 million feet long. Oh, people are lining up to ride it. We are gonna go ahead and ride this, but there is no way in hell this doesn't crash the computer. Well, here we go for the first and last time that a human being will ever be on this roller coaster. Before we modify it, I'd like to get further than, you know, 
<laughs> whatever ridiculous number we're at right now. And uh, we're going to get the opportunity to feel what uh, 4.3 million miles an hour feels like. Now, right now, probably doesn't feel like much, even though the friction <laughs> from the air has probably dissolved all of our, our molecules. Oh, I forgot there was a short time there where you're under under the earth. Can you catch the point where we pass by the uh, the water park? I think I just saw it right there. I'm pretty sure I just saw the water park. We're still alive. The game hasn't crashed yet. I mean, a normal human can't possibly look at this and understand what's happening right now because I think like three different things are starting to melt on top of one another. There goes the audio. The audio is usually one of those things uh, that goes pretty quick when you are... No way. Oh. No, 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 don't, don't quit the game. For the love of God, I've never had this happen before. I can't believe we completed the entire run. So you just took a uh, almost 400 mile roller coaster. <laughs> How do you feel, everyone? <laughs> also, what, 4.35 million miles per hour. All right, we need to go faster for sure and, and farther. Get rid of this crap. Come out here, go ahead and do a little bank maneuver. Going up. Okay, we're at 5.9 million miles an hour right now. And right at about 2.3 million feet long. The real winner here though, is the G-forces. We made people experience 3.4 million G's. Okay, I think what I gotta do is make like 20 more of these curly cues because we're at 3.2 million feet right now. So we're like over 600 miles right now. It'd be kind of cool if I could get this thing to be an experience that's as long as going from one side of the entire United States to the other. Stupid math. Go. <laughs> it says there's still a ton of hungry people. How does anyone have any appetite after they've watched like thousands and thousands of people get turned into red milkshakes? Here's a space shake. That's right, vendor 16. Put on your best forced smile. <laughs> we call these air quotes, dino burgers. It always makes me happy to see that tons of park goers are drinking fresh brewed people. Just thought you'd all like to know. We're up to uh, 8.3 million miles per hour right now. Yeah. Okay, it feels multiplicative. We are now at 6.34 million feet in ride length. That means that the ride is like 1,200 miles long. I think we need to get like 20 five or 2,600 miles for the ride to be longer than the United States. But this is pretty ridiculous. I don't know how much further I'm gonna be able to go before my computer just doesn't wanna deal with this anymore. I decided to put down an aquarium because I felt like we needed some gentle rides since, you know, the only other real ride in the park causes you to fold time and space and visit your past selves and stuff. Yes, everyone, come on into the aquarium that I met. I don't know how you get out because the <laughs> the exit just goes right into the heart of the aquarium again. I guess you could walk all the way around and maybe decapitate yourself on the pipe work. Over here, you're gonna notice a sad derpy shark along with some completely flat JPEG fish. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when they get out, they have nowhere to go. They just go in a circle over here. <laughs> yeah, the little girl's having fun. You're screwed, though, because there's no place to leave. No mechanic can reach corkscrew coaster one. We don't need mechanics where we're going. Right now, we're over 1,400 miles long. 7.4 million feet. All right, it's time. It's time to go 7.4 million feet in, like, you know, under a minute <laughs> or however we're gonna be going eight million miles an hour because honestly why the hell not right i'm gonna i'm gonna try and get way back out here like this because it's not too long before the game just won't allow me to control the camera anymore i don't know why it just completely locks it well i think i probably know why this right here is something that the game is not supposed to experience. If I hadn't guessed. What did we reach before? Like a bajillion G-forces? You're at the point where I don't even think it really matters. At this rate, we may actually get to the speed of light eventually. Okay. 
I don't know why, but suddenly we're inside of the vehicle. Just decided that we should be inside now. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be on shrooms, basically. So if you want any of that shroom experience without any dangers associated with it, I guess you could just watch this part of the video. It's crazy, but this is still going. It hasn't crashed the game yet somehow. Oh yeah. I am way zoomed out now. <laughs> Come on, baby, get all the way to the end. That's all I want is for you to make it to the end of this without crashing the whole game. <gasps> it did it. How y'all doing after enjoying the uh, the aquarium? Doing good? <laughs> Can't leave, can you? It's all right, I'll save you guys. Hold on, I may have a way here to fix this. <laughs> Welcome to hell. Oh, I didn't think you could actually make them go down, but you totally can. <laughs> Look at them. Like that. They're trying to hold on. Bye. <laughs> Something I forgot about this game is how there's no limitation to how low you can make people go. So if they're not getting, you know, completely diffused at a molecular level by the roller coaster, they're getting incinerated as they're blasted down to the core of the year. Here's the lucky group. They didn't go down that far. The other group is gone. I have no idea where they are. Well, uh, I think I just reached a realm that I never thought we would get to. 11.6 million miles per hour. All right, everyone, prepare your anuses because we're about to experience 12 million miles an hour backwards. This is gonna be some Doc Brown level stuff. We're probably gonna see the history of the Earth uh, right in around uh, Revolution 2 or 3, I would expect, <laughs> if, my, if my computer doesn't disintegrate. I kind of wonder if that lady, when we pass her by, like if all the flesh immediately disappears off of her bones. We'll go ahead and zoom out here as far as possible because I never really got the opportunity. There's eventually a point where the game can't render things anymore. I'm pretty sure we, we reached that point. It's usually when the sound starts going completely ballistic. It's impossible to tell how many millions of miles an hour we're going right now because you accelerate over time each time we pass in front of the lady. Uh, if we do survive this though, everyone that's in the hell spawn pit over by the aquarium, this is, this is dedicated to you guys. Oh, Jesus Christ. Not really sure why it teleported us back inside of the vehicle, but you know, whatever. It doesn't really matter at this point. I'm surprised the world isn't going backwards. Like we're not reversing the, the revolutions of the planet. <laughs> Considering we're at 12 million miles an hour, I never thought we would get this far. That's start, you know, it's only whatever, like 15 times slower than the speed of light. Just the fact that we've gotten to that point. <laughs> it's really miraculous. I'm pretty sure every time we pass in front of that lady, that's why it keeps resetting my my vision. So you can see I'm trying to go back and it just keeps resetting over and over again. I'm curious if you're going this fast, is it better to be in the back of the roller coaster or in the front? I mean, you're gonna get, you know, your entire body is gonna get destroyed no matter what. I'm just kind of curious who gets the destruction worse. I imagine the people in the back because they have to inhale the death particles of all the people sitting in front of them. <laughs> That's an awful way to go. You're sitting there in the afterlife, everyone's asking how each other died, and you're like, I choked on the molecules on the of the guy in front of me while riding a roller coaster going 12 million miles an hour. Oh my God, we made it, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, I got good news, I got bad news. The bad news is we only went 8.5 million miles an hour there. Uh, but the good news is we just broke our record on ride length and we went 8.86 million feet. That's almost 1,600 miles. So we did in fact go across the entire United States, just not east to west. We would have went across the United States from north to south. And just because we're at... 1.6 million G's and 1.2 million G's vertical. Well, we did it. Everyone's dream came true. We went like almost 1600 miles in one single roller coaster ride. We capped off at 8, 11 point something million miles an hour and the G forces are just stupid now. It doesn't even matter at this point. And the best part is, uh, there is a way to get out of the aquarium. You just have to jump to your death. Ah, the little girls have you. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. Until the next time, stay foxy and much love.